cop pulls over a car, but when he knows who the driver really was, his life changes forever. On a night when the relentless rain transformed the city into a blurred tapestry of lights and shadows, Officer James Davis cruised the slick streets, his thoughts dulled by the monotony of patrol. The unexpected flicker of a taillight ahead pierced the veil of routine, igniting a reluctant spark of duty within him. With the flip of a switch, he signaled the sedan to pull over, stealing himself for the mundane transaction that typically accompanied such stops. Little did he know this seemingly inconsequential act was poised to unravel the fabric of his disillusionment. As the vehicle came to a halt and the window rolled down, a cascade of emotions awaited him. The driver's weary face, marked by streaks of rain and tears, peered out into the night, her eyes reflecting a world of worry and fatigue. In the back seat, the innocent slumber of a child, blissfully unaware of the storm both outside and within, struck a chord in James's hardened heart. This was no ordinary traffic stop. It was a mirror reflecting back the struggles and resilience of those he had sworn to protect. The exchange that followed diverged from the script of routine. The driver, Sarah, was a ghost from James' past, a vibrant soul from his youth now marred by life's harsh trials. Her story unfolded like a map of lost dreams and disparate battles, revealing a landscape of disappointment, abuse, and the looming shadow of homelessness. Each word etched a deeper line of concern on James' face, as the professional distance he was accustomed to maintaining blurred into a heartfelt empathy. In that moment, under the glow of the patrol car's lights, James confronted a crossroads not only in his career, but in his very essence. The ticket that should have been written lay forgotten, a testament to the shift occurring within him. Moved by a profound urge to make a difference, he reached out into the night, seeking to mend the broken strands of Sarah's life with actions that transcended the bounds of his badge. This encounter, brief as it was, became a beacon in the fog of James' disillusionment. It was a vivid reminder that beyond the routine and the regulations, there lay a human connection, fragile and powerful in its ability to foster change. As the rain continued to pour down, washing away the grime of the city, it also seemed to cleanse the lens through which James viewed his role, revealing a path forward illuminated by compassion and hope. As the sedan's window descended, the night's chill air mingled with the warmth inside, revealing a tableau that struck Officer James Davis to his core. There in the driver's seat sat Sarah, her face a canvas of worry and fatigue, so starkly different from the vibrant girl full of dreams he once knew. In the back, her child lay sleeping, a serene figure amid the storm, untouched by the world's cruelty. This unexpected reunion under the harsh glare of the patrol car's lights pierced through James's professional armor, exposing a heart long shielded by duty and disillusionment. The sight of Sarah, so changed and yet familiar, unraveled a thread of memories, pulling James back to a past drenched in sunlight and laughter, a stark contrast to the present's shadowed uncertainty. The years had carved their separate paths through life's thicket, leading them to this serendipitous crossroad. Seeing her there, a warrior worn by battles he could only imagine, James felt an overwhelming surge of empathy, a desire to reach across the divide time had created. This moment of vulnerability revealed the fragility of human connections, how easily they can be lost to time and circumstance, and yet how powerfully they can resurface, undiminished. For James, the professional facade cracked further, allowing him to see beyond the badge to the shared humanity that bound him to Sarah. It was a poignant reminder of the paths not taken, of the youthful innocence lost to life's relentless march, and of the potential for redemption and support that lay in the power of reconnecting with one's past. In the dim light of the patrol car, a conversation unfolded that would forever alter the trajectory of two lives intertwined by fate. James listened, a silent sentinel in the night, as Sarah wove a tale of descent from the hopeful heights of their youth into the shadowed valleys of adversity. Her voice, once buoyant with dreams, now carried the weight of a life besieged by hardship, an abusive tether that sought to stifle her spirit, 
and the looming specter of homelessness that threatened to engulf her and her child in its cold embrace. This exchange, far removed from the routine queries and responses that typified James's nights on patrol, laid bare a stark reality. The systems, heralded as bastions of protection and support, had instead become mazes of red tape and indifference, leaving Sarah and countless others to navigate the labyrinth of despair. Each word she spoke etched a deeper mark of realization in James' conscience, highlighting the chasm between the ideal and the reality of the societal safety net. As the rain whispered against the car, James' perspective shifted. The professional detachment that had been his armor against the world's sorrows cracked, revealing a heart not yet hardened beyond compassion. Sarah's story, a poignant testament to resilience in the face of systemic abandonment, ignited a determination within James to challenge the status quo. In the shared silence that followed her recounting, a bond was forged, not just of past affections rekindled, but of a shared resolve to confront the inadequacies that had failed Sarah, to seek out the cracks through which too many had slipped, and to advocate for a world where no one is left to face the darkness alone. In the quiet aftermath of Sarah's revelations, a sense of purpose stirred within James, a call to action that could not be ignored. The citation pad, once a symbol of his authority, lay forgotten as he reached for his phone, his fingers dialing numbers with a newfound urgency. The night, so often a backdrop for the mundane or the malevolent, now witnessed a mission of mercy as James sought to marshal the resources at his disposal for Sarah and her son's benefit. His efforts unfolded against the backdrop of a system mired in complexity and apathy. Each call James made was a step deeper into the bureaucratic maze, a world where the needs of the vulnerable often became entangled in red tape. Yet with every frustrating encounter, his resolve only hardened, fueled by the memory of Sarah's weary resilience and the silent witness of her sleeping child. This was a departure from the path he had walked as an officer, a journey not of enforcing laws, but of navigating the labyrinthine corridors of social services, seeking cracks through which light could shine on Sarah's plight. In this quest, James confronted not only the systemic barriers that stifled hope, but also his own preconceived notions about the limits of his role and the power of individual action. Through each small victory and each setback, James' journey became a testament to the potential for change within even the most flawed institutions. It was a reminder that compassion, when coupled with determination, could transcend the boundaries of duty, transforming the life of a family and the heart of a protector. As James delved deeper into his quest to assist Sarah, his solitary efforts blossomed into a collective movement, drawing in the expertise and compassion of local social workers, shelters, and support networks. Each meeting, each conversation, bridged the gap between individual plight and community action, weaving a safety net that began to lift Sarah and her son from the depths of despair. These professionals, though often stretched thin by the magnitude of needs they faced, brought to the table a wealth of knowledge and a shared commitment to making a difference, one life at a time. In this collaborative endeavor, James found not only allies in the fight against adversity, but also a renewed sense of belonging and purpose. Witnessing Sarah's gradual journey towards stability and independence, buoyed by the support around her, rekindled in him a belief in the power of community and the possibility of second chances. The fabric of their lives, once frayed by hardship and separation, began to mend, stitched together by acts of kindness and shared resolve. The transformation that unfolded, from the precariousness of a traffic stop to the solid ground of a new beginning, was a testament to the ripple effect of empathy and action. James and Sarah's reconnection, under the ephemeral light of a malfunctioning taillight, became a beacon for change. It underscored the profound impact of reaching out, of extending a hand in the darkness, and the collective capacity to uplift and heal. From the story of James and Sarah, we learn the profound impact that empathy, compassion, and community support can have on transforming lives. It illustrates that individuals, even when faced with systemic obstacles, can find renewal and hope through a collective effort and personal dedication. 
The narrative demonstrates that beyond the boundaries of duty lies the potential for meaningful connections that can spark positive change, emphasizing the importance of looking past our preconceptions to truly help others. This story is a reminder that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. It challenges us to consider our role in the wider community and the difference we can make in the lives of those around us. How do you think small acts of kindness can change a community? Share a moment when a simple gesture made a significant impact in your life or someone else's.